This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're at the York Hall. Peter McDonough, I'm going to let you introduce the man next to you because, uh, yeah, probably no one really seen him before, but you've told me off camera he's a bit special. Yeah, he's just come back. Um, his name's Jan. Um, he's just uh, from Austria uh, with the Fisher Boxing Club now. Just come back from sparring Ben Whitaker. Um, very, very impressed with his performance there. Um, in a few weeks, hopefully, sparring uh, Fraser Clark is a cruiserweight. But for me, he's going to end up a heavyweight. He's 20 years old and uh, we've, he's got a big future in front of him. Jan, you to be the, the next cruiserweight, maybe heavyweight superstar then? That's the goal, yeah. Uh, speaking to Peter, sparring Ben Whitaker. Uh, that, was, go on. that was a great experience, yeah. yeah. Uh, my coach, my new coach, um, just arranged that for me and it was like a great experience, yeah. Good point. How good is he, Peter? He's a very, very good fighter. Um, he's still novice to a degree, um, but he showed in there things I told him to do. He listened and uh, he made them work. Uh, we was in the gym today working and uh, what can I say? He's picking up every day. And that's the most important thing. As long as they got like a sponge, they can pick it up. That's the most important thing. And what can I say? You know, uh, cruiser come every weight. Um, that's where it's at. That's what people are excited in. They like knockouts, they like power punching, and uh, I think uh, Jan's going to give this to us. Austrian, there's not many Austrian, I don't even know Austrian champion, has there been an Austrian champion? I don't know. How did your relationship come about? You say Austrian, <laughs> how did you even meet each other? So what happened was, um, I took, well, I was part of the Fisher after Steve Weiser died, um, he was my former amateur coach. I always say I had more trainers than JD Sports. I had one teacher, and that was Steve Weiser. He was a great, great teacher. Um, I would like to say, um, may he rest in peace. Um, I've gone up there. Um, I'm a big part of it now. I'm not saying I'm going to fill his shoes, but if I can tie his shoelaces, I'll be happy. Um, Yang come over with Ray Ball, uh, and we've got a little connection straight away. And, uh, you know, he listens to me. I listen to him, and... Uh, Dumber and dumber, as they say. But uh, what can I say? I've been there before. Um, I know what it's like, you know, to sit there before you go out in that uh, fight and the arena. And um, I believe I can give back to boxing. I was speaking to Lee Selby earlier. Lee Selby's here tonight, the all cool. I was speaking to him and I said, come on, people like us should be in boxing. We've got experience, we've got knowledge. So why can't we give it back to kids like these? And the plan for the Fisher Boxing Club from now on is we bring them through as amateurs, we turn them professional and we look after them. You know, we look after them as amateurs, so why shouldn't we look after them as professionals? Definitely. And Jan, do you feel like Peter's the man to take you all the way to the top, confident in his abilities to train us? Yeah, he is. Uh, I've been improving every day since I've been working with Peter and um, I, I, just, I just never felt like I'm on the right track until I met uh, Coach Peter McDonough. And uh, that's the way to go, yeah. And that's the man to stay with. What's the plan for him then, then Peter? Well, listen, he's still improving. Um, maybe put him in the championships this year as an amateur and then uh, maybe next year let him off the leash. But listen, we're getting loads of experience as we speak. I always wish if I was younger, um, when I turned pro, I went and, you know, I took a lot of experience. I've been in pro gym, sparring a lot and all that sort of stuff. He's getting that now off the likes of Ben Whitaker, silver medalist at the Olympics. So that experience he's getting and he's learning every time. He understands when he's doing wrong. And I'm saying when you do wrong, do you know what I mean? Do this, do it differently. So next next stop, maybe Fraser Clark. Who knows? Yeah, and how different is it over here in England to Austria? Very different. Uh, in Austria, the boxing sport is not supported at all. Uh, here in the, in the UK, I can just feel like the fans, they go crazy here and um, it's just like the atmosphere is whole different and uh, people people love boxing here and, and I love boxing so I feel like I'm at the right place here. So. Excellent, just last one then Peter, last word with you, What's, where's this kid going to be in five years time, just how good and how far can he go? Firstly, um, he's a very grand uh, fighter as you can see, um, very down to earth. Listen, we don't keep his feet on the ground, let's keep his knees on the ground because uh, that's the most important thing, firstly. As long as he stays dedicated and uh, he can stay away from the light life and the women and all that sort of stuff, he can go a long way in boxing. And uh, like I say, it's all about dedication and devotion. He's got everything else, so that's the most important thing. So, Jan, the Austrian, look out for him in years to come. 
because he could definitely be a world champion. That's a fact. Excellent. Yeah, and Peter, thank you very much for being to IFL TV, and we look forward to seeing your career unfold, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.